Welcome to Rigging Part 2. So uh, where we last left off, we'd identified some sort of problem areas with our rig, and uh, we're going to hopefully address uh, each of those in this part. So um, the first problem we came across was that when we rotate the arms, the whole sort of neck seems to cave in, and the uh, sort of side of the body stretches terribly. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to select our our mesh object, and we're going to press Control Tab just to go into weight painting mode. And we can see if we uh, select each of these bones just by right clicking on them, we can preview their weights. So um, if we just press T in in weight paint mode, that will bring up our options here where we can select our brush type and our change our brush radius, strength, uh, all that sort of thing. What we want to do first of all though is just go into options and uh, turn on X mirror such that if we change anything um, on one bone, the same change will be reflected on the other side of the body, which will save us, of course, a lot of time. Um, so let's start with this chest bone over here, and uh, let's just draw in some weight, uh, just along like that. Um, I'm just going to undo that. I want to reduce the uh, the strength of the brush a little bit, just so I can apply this more gradually. And uh, on the upper arm, I'm going to go into subtract. And just subtract around here. Subtract all of that. And around the back as well. Seems to have caught a bit of the face. Okay, that's looking much, much better. Um, can continue to tweak it, but uh, that's that's okay for now. And uh, let's just check the hands, um, the thumb. Yeah, that seems to have automatically uh, weight painted itself quite nicely. Uh, the next problem area was the head, which, um, as you can see, is becoming detached from the hair over here. So I'm just going to go in edit mode and just I'll uh, change, the, change the selection tool to face and uh, just select this whole top part of the, of the head here. And if we just go into this um, little mesh data section here, um, I'm going to select the head bone in pose mode. Um, let's see. Okay, so now you can see we've got the head vertex group selected, and I'm just going to say uh, assign, and that will assign all of these vertices um, with a weight of 1 to the head bone. And I'm going to go into the neck bone and remove all of these vertices from the neck bone's influence, and you can see now that uh, this is behaving a lot better. Okay. Um, all right, we've got this rather disconcerting issue of the sort of hips um, coming out of the side of the body. We definitely need to do something about that. Um, let's start by, um, with the torso bone selected, you can just select this entire area over here. And I'm just going to assign this all, I just wait, including these bottom faces of the jacket. I'm just going to assign that all to the torso. Um, oops, I've inadvertently assigned the head as well. Just quickly remove that. Alright, so that helps a little bit. Um, Let's just go into um, textured mode here so that we can 
See, yeah, this problem is still occurring, however. So, um, back in weight paint mode, we can just uh, select our uh, upper leg bone, and I'm going to remove all of these faces from it. Also remove the jacket faces as well. Uh, just like that, just remove. And I want to remove it from this as well. Remove. Alright, so now that problem should be completely gone. And uh, it is indeed gone. But um, the sort of uh, deformation at the top of the leg here is uh, not quite how we want it. So let us go back on to add. And I'm going to turn down the radius of my brush a bit. And just manually paint in some weight at the top here. Uh, didn't mean to brush the leg over there. Don't want to really catch any of the jacket. Okay, let's see how that's looking. That is indeed looking much, much better. Yeah, we seem to have completely eradicated that problem. Yeah, I'm quite content with that. Uh, just make sure our torso is working nicely still. It is. Okay, I'll just select everything, Alt-R, Alt-G to clear the pose. Um, gonna save quickly. Let's see, so the other problem that we noticed was the foot uh, not bending very nicely. So um, let's go into weight painting mode on the foot. And uh, okay, so these are just our control bones. So we're gonna have to press Alt-H to unhide our actual uh, deformation bones. And um, the toe bone seems to be um, pretty perfect. Uh, it's just this bone here, the, um, what is this called? The foot bone is uh, not quite how we want it. So I'm going to just select maybe this whole sort of um, back section of the boot. And just make sure I deselect it on the, uh, the right-hand side of the character. And I'm just going to assign that completely to foot.left. And uh, let's see how that's looking now. If I just maybe um, move this out of the way here. Uh, still not quite right. I'm going to go onto the upper leg and I'm just going to remove this part that I added to the foot bone. Just remove it from the upper leg bone. Why didn't that work? Oh, because I'm looking at the <laughs> at the left leg. Sorry about that. Um, uh, I'm looking at the right leg is what I meant to say. Okay, that's looking better. That's definitely looking better. Yeah, in fact, that's um, that's pretty much exactly how I want it. I think. I can maybe add a tiny bit of weight in here. Yep, that looks good. Um, just need to do the same changes on the other side. Since when you're working like this uh, with the vertex groups in edit mode, it's not actually mirroring um, on both sides of the, of the rig. So I'll just uh, select this quickly and uh, deselect the whole of the left side. I can just apply this to uh, foot.right and also remove it from the lower leg dot right. And once again, um, we can just add in some custom weight along there. All right, so let's test that out. Yeah, looking good, looking good. 
Let's see, were there any other problems uh, with our rig? That's working fine. The arms are working good, we checked the hands earlier. This is all good. This is fine. Yeah, okay, so it seems that everything we've got so far is working quite nicely. Um, the very last thing to do on our rig is to add in a little um, hat bone. Uh, at the moment the hat is being controlled completely by the head, uh, which is fine, but um, we might want to animate the hat actually coming off. Maybe he tips his hat to someone or uh, it blows off in the wind or something. So um, let's add in a new bone. I'll just shift C to center my cursor, shift A, add in a bone. And uh, we can put it over here and just uh, move this up. This is our hat. All right, so we need to apply this um, to, the, to the hat mesh. So first of all, let's just select the entire hat mesh and uh, just remove it completely from the head bone. Just remove that. Um, we're going to want to add in a vertex group for this hat bone that we just created. So we can just uh, add in a new vertex group here. And we can double click, click it to name it. And we want to name it the same name as our bone. So that's just hat. And now if we just select this all and assign it to the hat vertex group, you can see it's now been added on here. So that's great. Um, now, of course, we wanted to follow the head around. But the problem with just directly parenting it to the head is that then if in the middle of the animation we want it to come off the head, then um, then we're going to want to animate it sort of unparenting from the head. So the way we can do this is instead of just parenting it conventionally um, uh, in edit mode, we can do it with a constraint. So let's select the head bone, shift right click, select the hat bone, shift control C, and add in a child of relationship constraint. Okay, so you can see this is now a, um, it's a child of the, of the head. If we move this around, it uh, rotates with it. And let's just say clear, uh, set inverse, sorry. And uh, now you can see it's nicely sitting on his head. And um, the really great thing is, we've got this influence slider that we can actually animate. And if we just turn that all the way down to zero, you can see it's no longer affected at all by the by the head, and we could take it off and make it blow away in the wind. And if he retrieves it and puts it back on his head, we just animate the influence going back to one, and it's now back on his head. So that's wonderful. Um, by default, I'll set that to one. Yeah, just leave it like that. All right, so we're very nearly done here. I quickly want to go into edit mode and just select all the bones. And once again, pressing Control N, just uh, recalculate the roll on the X, Y, and Z axes. And uh, finally, let's just go into pose mode and hide these uh, extraneous foot bones that we displayed earlier for the weight painting. So that's uh, these four over here, and also these, um, these yellow ones. Just hide those, and then press Alt-R, Alt-G to get everything back into place. So the very last thing that we need is just to create a root bone. So uh, pressing Shift C to make sure our cursor is centered, you can go into edit mode and press Shift A to add in a bone. And uh, we want to make this sort of lie straight down on the ground. So let's just change our snap type to increment. And we can just uh, hold down Control to snap in increments. And at least allow us to position it just like that. Um, let us name this our root. And this is not a deform bone. And we can just parent the torso bone to the root. We want to parent both of the uh, leg control bones to the root. And we also want to parent all of our, um, our pole targets to the root. So now that this one bone can move everything around. And uh, we've now got a pretty satisfactory finished rig. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, in the next part, we'll look at animating this guy. So uh, yeah, hope to see you there. Cheers.